Hey guys, um, today's look is just going to be greens and um, orange. It's just more of like a fall eye, I guess. So if you like it and would like to know how I did this, keep on watching. Okay. I have Urban K A Primer Potion and a piece of tape applied to my eyelid area already. I'm going to take my Nixtum Pencil in Milk and place that all over my eye area. Blend it up with my Encore Shader Brush. And also I'm going to put it below my eye. Except I'm taking Bright Green Hydro from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. It's a neon green. And I'm going to be placing this all over my eyelid with a medium sized shadow brush. Excluding the inner portion of my eye. So bring it up just a bit. All right, uh, like that. Next, I am going to take green tea. This is a pigment from my friend Jasmine's line. I'm going to link her in the sidebar, but um, I'm taking a little bit of that, it's just a, a matte dark green color, and I'm going to place this color, this is really a beautiful color, I have nothing like it in my collection, and I'm placing this all on the outside corner and above, this is going to be the main color of the outside of my lid, I'm also going to just bring it up, and I'm going to create the shape I have on that one. How it's kind of a cat eye with the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna do with this. So I'm just gonna run it. And then I'm fading it inwards, and also I'm going to actually bring it down into that area um, beside my nose a little bit. So I'm just gonna lightly shade it, holding the brush far away. Less pressure. I'm just gonna shade this down. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna blend this all out real quick. That's good about right there. We're gonna blend it out later. Take an uh, angled brush, an angled brush, and dip it into Max Carbon eyeshadow. I'm just gonna place that right on the outer corner just to give it a little bit of uh, more dimension. It's always good to layer eyeshadows. about there for right now. I'm going to take um, just like a pencil brush that's not stiff. I'm gonna dip it into the combination of this green from the Coastal Sense 80 Shimmer Palette, this green and that green. And I'm going to make a color. And I'm gonna place this color right in my tear duct area and blend it inwards on that bright green hydro. White eyeshadow and put place this right there between the black and that turquoise color. A small brush I'm going to put it into Beauty Earth's um, 
eyeshadow in Lemon. I'm gonna place this right in my tear duct area. Taking a big fluffy brush, and I'm also gonna take another color from my friend Jasmine's cosmetic line. This one's called Champagne. It's the perfect highlight color for me. I've been using it all the time. Thank you so much. I'm going to place this color as a brow highlight and also just to um, blend down that green tea color. I'm going to remove my tape. I'm taking my 242 brush from MAC and I'm going to put it into Fall. From Beauty from the Earth. It's a really pretty, like, nice color for fall. It's like a pumpkin ish, uh, orangey kind of color. I'm gonna put this color all underneath my lash line. Alright, and that is it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go finish up and I'll be right back. Here are the eyes. Okay, and I finished off with. Um, that fall color from Beauty from the Earth that I used for my um, underneath my eyes, I used it with a little bit of clear gloss to make a lipstick. So it's a really nice color and I think it goes well, it makes the under eye of the um, orange pop. And for my cheeks, I used my 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents. I used this dusty kind of rose color for a blush and I, and I contoured my Max Sculpt and Shape Powder. And, um, yes, so that concludes my look, guys.